In this session, I'm going to take a look at how you can do offline editing of the shows and scenes from the desk. Something I used quite a bit. I thought it would be useful to go through the laptop side of this process. I covered the backup and restore of the desk settings in one of my previous sessions. So I would recommend going over a look at that first because that will teach you how to get the settings off the desk and onto a USB drive. So I've now got that USB drive, it's in my laptop ready to go, and I'm gonna go through how you then use that on your laptop. First off, you need to, of course, install the Mixpad app, so you can get that from the Alan Heath website. There's a Windows and Mac version of that, so you can install it on either, and as long as you've got a reasonably up-to-date computer, it should be fine. You then need to take the USB drive that you've got your backup copy from the desk, put that into the computer, and copy the files over. I'll go through that and then show you how to use the app. I've already loaded my drive in and it's come up on my computer. There's a one folder on it called AHSQ that has got all of the desk settings in. I'm going to copy that onto my local machine, onto my hard drive so that I can then work with it. I'm just going to do copy and find the folder I want to put it into training folder for this, paste it into there. That then gives me a copy from my USB drive onto my local machine that I can then work with. In theory you can probably work with it directly off the USB drive but I like to take a copy first. The other thing that allows me to do, which is probably worth doing, is create a backup of that. I do that by creating a zip file containing all the files I just copied off the USB drive. They also tend to do that at the end gives me a snapshot of everything so in case I make a mistake or I lose the USB drive or there's some kind of other kind of problem I know I've got a backup copy and I just tend to name it with a date and some kind of title that helps me remember what it was for. So I've now got the files local and I've got SQ Mixpad here running in the background so when you start it up it will come up with this we don't have a connection to a desk so to use it you just tell it to work in offline mode and then it will it will work with local files instead connect it get this familiar looking screen very much like the ipad app has a very similar user interface and all of the same features as you'd see in the ipad but it also has the ability to work with files that you've copied from the desk you go to utility here on the top menu with a little spanner and once you've told it where to find the files, it can go and load them. So the first thing you'll find is working directory will need to be pointed to somewhere that you can pick them up from. And you click browse, and then you go and find that folder that you just copied to your local machine. So mine is here, AHSQ. If you actually look in it, you can see library, scene, shows, etc. That's all the contents. You need to pick the AHSQ folder. So make it sure it says it there, say so select folder. Will tell you if you've picked the wrong one anyway, but here now it's used to something a bit like this that says AHSQ at the end. And on the right hand side, under local shows, it now gives you the list of show settings that you can load. Main services is what we tend to call our one from the desk uh, if you've taken the backup in the same way, but you could call it whatever you like. Select it, press recall, that will then say, Are You sure? and then success. That's now copied that all that show file settings into my offline mix pad that I'm working with on my laptop. That gives me access to all the scenes, so click on scenes and I've got all the scenes that were on there. You've got libraries, you've got everything that was, that was pretty much on the desk. You don't get things like users but you don't need those. You have everything else. You go to processing and select layer A and you get the current layer you can go and find a scene that you want to work with. So for instance, I've got a scene from the previous Sunday that I was, this is a good starting point. So I could either just go and recall that. And now that's there, I can work with it and save it to another one, or I could use the copy paste. So on here, select the one you want to copy, right click on it, do copy, find a place, to, a free slot to put it in and then do paste. That gives you a copy change the name to something useful. I can now go and make changes to that. So maybe I want to change some of the uh, settings on here. 
some of the channel processing or perhaps I just want to change the faders that I've got so if I look here I can do my um, strip assignment perhaps I've got a different set that I'm going to use next Sunday and I want to tweak it so maybe I decided I don't want some of these so okay I don't want the DVD player let's take that off put a blank one in space um, if I then go back to processing that's changed great and go to scenes update that that's now saved locally in my mix pad once I've made all the changes to the scenes that I want to make and I'm happy with how it looks go back to the utility section make sure that that show is selected on the right hand side that it's got highlight and then do overwrite and it'll say are you sure say okay that's now updated the local copy on my laptop so that's now changed it to have those settings in that I've put in so I would then need to go back to here at this point I would probably make another backup copy just in case um, but you can then copy those files from your local machine back onto the USB drive overwrite all the ones that are on there before and then you can take that back to the desk and load it on and that's pretty much it for the, the process. The details of what you might want to change then are obviously up to you and how you want to set it up. But that gives you a, a good idea of how to go about doing an offline setup.